What's up everybody? I'm gonna to talk to you today about a really awesome upcoming comic by an amazing artist who I only found out about very recently, even though he's been around for a really long time. Uh, before I get into this, I wanna tell you all to uh, subscribe to my mailing list. It's in the channel description down below. That mailing list will be where you can find out when my graphic novel is going to be launching on Indiegogo. I won't be sending you any spam or promos or anything like that. All it is is literally just so I can announce ahead of time when uh, my graphic novel is about to launch on Indiegogo. So get on there and uh, let's get right into it. So I found out about Dan Fraga and Black Flag like barely within the last month, I think. Uh, I started what I, I think I saw him at first appear on Ethan Van Skyver's channel or something like that. And I noticed that he was just drawing like just this crazily anabolic, like high ultra action stuff. I mean, I'm, look at this spread right here. Like this is incredible. Um, let's in fact, you know, let's get Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I mean, let's see. Let's see what, what do we have right here? Oh, um, anyway. So, yeah, Dan draws exactly how you would expect someone with the last name Fraga to draw. I mean, I'm pretty sure that, that he was named, like his whole family name was uh, derived from uh, Lobo or Judge Dredd or something like that. I mean, look, look, at the, look at this dude's face. Like, that is the Chad silhouette. And this was made in, what was it, 95, I think? Yeah, I think this was in 95 or 94 or something. So he predicted the Chad meme before any of us were even on the internet or even alive. Um, now, his artwork is like, I mean, the stuff that he did in the 90s, like, this is incredible. I don't care what people might nitpick about the anatomy. This is awesome. This is epic to me. But the stuff that he is doing now, if you go over to his channel, which I'll, I'll link to all of his stuff down below and his crowdfunding campaign link and all that. But if you go check out his work, like, it's freaking phenomenal, the, uh, the anatomy that he's capable of. Like, it's just out of this world. Um... Story-wise, uh, you know, I'm not going to spoil too much, but uh, it taps into a lot of things that, like, I would have absolutely loved as a kid if I had run into this. Um, you know, a little bit of the story, like, involves, like, this young boy who, like, literally runs into this uh, super soldier gorilla, I guess. Um, I really like the dialogue the gorilla has. Urgh, gotta go, gotta go. Like, what more can you possibly need? He's gotta go. And then... And then he goes. That's genius dialogue to me. Like, I do, I mean, I've talked about this before. I, uh, I really don't like, I don't like wordy, uh, excessively verbose dialogue. It offends me and it, it oppresses me. Um, I like very terse dialogue. I like things that show more than they tell. And uh, Dan Fraga is really good at that. Even in his like really older stuff here, which I, you know, I'm, I don't know like how much industry experience he had before he did Black Flag, but like it's great, and uh, I think it's only going to get better with uh, with uh, his crowdfunding campaign coming up. Uh, let's take a look in here. Like, I mean, this is this is one of those stories where uh, you read it and you feel like, oh, the guy working on this is really cool. The characters in this are really cool. Like. I mean, look at that. Like, she's wearing a hat that says cool. Like, how would you not want to be invited into that world? And uh, you feel cool just by reading this. Like, you are respected and you are you are loved. Um, and if you watch any of Dan's, uh, his videos on YouTube, like, he seems like a really swell guy. I mean, even if he was, you know, even if I didn't have any kind of, like, context for who he was as a person, like, the uh, the artwork in here, like, you know, is enough for me. I mean, check this out. Like, one, he's got an ammo belt on his bicep. Um, his gun has, <laughs> it has... It has four magazines. <laughs> so there's, like, one magazine up on the top. Two, three down there. I don't know. Maybe that one's just the foregrip. But knowing, knowing this artwork, I think that that's probably a fourth magazine. And, uh... I mean, this is a gun that has other guns in it. And those other guns probably shoot other guns that shoot bullets that shoot other bullets. I mean, it's it's excellent stuff. And I don't know, I, I'm a sucker for this kind of contract. Like this hyper manly, you know, military mercenary action stuff on the side. And then like, oh, suburban, 
you know, kind of mundane life going on here. And then suddenly, you know, giant gorilla. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know uh, if uh, Dan's upcoming campaign is for a continuation or a reboot of Black Flag. Other than, you know, it seems to involve all the original characters and stuff. But uh, either way, like, it's going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to be in there on day one. No questions asked. And uh, the rest of you should. I mean, if you're the kind of person who subscribes to my channel, you'll probably dig this as well. I mean, you, you know that, like, I'm all about, like, that kind of, like, 80s jungle commando kind of action stuff. I'm so sick. I'm sick of, like, you know, this really drab post 9-11 uh tactical stuff you know with conserving ammo and you know and everybody has realistic uh physiques and stuff because you know they have to pass a marine corps physical fitness test mm, can't take steroids and, and you know can't take combat stimulants mm. um this stuff to me is like this is this is this is like uh martial fantasy done right it's it's funny it's fun it's not cynical. It's not smug. It's not trying. It's not like, I mean, it has like the grim darkness of, you know, that Warhammer 40K or Judge Dredd stuff that I love. But there's no, but you read it and you don't feel like crushed in it the way you would after watching like, you know, some really gray, depressing dystopian movie or, or war as hell type movie or whatever. Like you feel energized, electrified, empowered uh through it and uh i think you all deserve to feel empowered and uh so i'm gonna be getting in on this campaign on day one i think uh the rest of you if you have the if you have the money and means for it uh you should get in on it too it looks like it's gonna be really good anyways i'm gonna have some more videos on the way soon again check out uh, the links to dan's book and uh his channel down below in the description uh follow me on social media Instagram, Twitter, uh, Instagram's where I'm most active, Twitter second, uh, subscribe to this channel as well, uh, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you all around with uh, another video again soon, later.